Hi, welcome. My name is Shelley Tomsick, and this is the third series of meditation with me, but this one's particular for sleep, and maybe you suffer insomnia or have a difficult time sleeping. So there's a few poses we can do. Um, and then this uh, meditation practice will be more restorative style to actually get you into uh, deeper states of relaxation. So for sleep remedy, um, a very easy, quick one, is to do a standing forward fold, an Uttanasana. And you can take clasp hands behind the back. You can release the hands down, cross the forearms, cradle your elbows. And I always begin with big inhales through the nose, big exhales through the mouth, like a sigh and release, letting out. Especially the, the thoughts when you're you know, suffering from sleep deprivation and just hanging the head there. And you can switch the crossing or do a little bit of both, just getting the shoulder release. Okay, so first an Uttanasana and releasing exhales through the mouth there. And then we're gonna take it to the wall here. Uh, maybe you can find a nice wall space. You can place your mat, a blanket and a pillow for the bolster unless you have one and this first one we're going to do legs up the wall but what i like about it having the extra elevation of the bolster underneath your low back sacrum is that you get the effects of a pose called shoulder stand and shoulder stand or this shape for the upper body gets all the blood flow and circulation and it soothes and calms the nervous system. It stimulates endocrine glands, the hormones, and really relaxes our emotions. And so you can take legs up the wall until it's really cozy for the hips. Palms could be open facing like Shavasana corpse pose and clear the neck. And then here breathing, inhale. And exhale through the mouth again. And then maybe a concentrated ujjayi pranayam, a little more fuller inhales through the nose. And exhales through the nose. Even relax the jaw, tongue, cheekbones. Eyes can be closed the whole time. Especially for sleep, you might even have a nice eye pillow there. You could wear that pressure on the forehead. Eyes is nice, having a little weight and darkness. It's like preparing the chamber to sleep. And this legs up the wall is very good for digestion. But this flush, especially if you sit all day long or you're standing, this really allows that kind of flush of the legs, good for low back and calms the body in preparation for sleep. Once you spend a little time here, legs up the wall, just a slow transition, bend your knees, roll to one side carefully, no rush, you can really take your time and joy. And even keep the head a little last coming up. Just use your hands to push. Now you can remain and do your full meditation at the wall actually, because about 10 minutes of that is really all the health benefits go in a little bit deeper. But I wanna give another option for this meditation for sleep. Have your bolster lengthwise, two blocks at the sides, but you can also use books or anything for the blocks. And this is called Supta Baddha Kanasana. Take the soles of the feet together and have the blocks a nice height so you can really relax the knees, groins, hip flexors. And then lay on the bolster for the spine, neck, 
To prepare for this one, you might even bend the elbows like we do for bridge pose and just walk the shoulders underneath. So you get that nice heart opening in the chest. Press the head back. You can rest the palms here like Shavasana or even palms on the belly if you prefer. And then as soon as you land, inhale through the nose again. And have that clearing breath. Exhale through the mouth. Here, just enjoy natural breath and deeply relax. But continue to go through the body, like notice if the legs are tense and relax them. The belly, hips, low back. Relax the shoulders, arms, neck, and weight of the head. And the sensors are important, the gateways of perception, or they call them the organs of perception. So continue to soften the eyes, and the ears, tongue, skin. Just sense the breath coming in and out of the nose lightly. Keep releasing here, going through the body. And then we'll transition a little bit. We'll keep the bolster on the back, but remove your two blocks and just straighten the legs. So they have a little flush here and then relax. You can exhale through the mouth, let that go. Helps the downward flow, the hips, belly. A nice technique to also work with in meditation is a little yoga nidra here. So for example, you can do tensing parts of the body and then releasing them. So maybe we try at the feet first, just flex them and engage them, almost tightening them. Inhale. And then exhale, completely release the feet, let them go. And then move up the shin bones, tighten the calves, and let go. And then the quads, hamstrings, and let go on the exhales. Belly even, just tense up for a moment and feel the abs, low back, and then let that go. And then the palms, just make fists and squeeze tightly, inhale, and exhale, let the hands go. Forearms tense and release. Shoulders, back, chest even. It's even bringing the awareness to these parts. And then exhale, let them go. The neck muscles. And relax. And then the face, even just scrunch it up. And exhale, release. And just try the skin on the skull. And release. And sense the body relaxing.
And to release from that, bend your knees slowly. Roll to one side. And come up. Maybe you're ready for a sleep. I feel a little sleepy. And then you could move your props, lay down. You're ready for your sleep. Thanks so much for joining me. Namaste.